Marvelous, good afternoon and welcome. Now we have something even more different to your normal petrol powered car, diesel powered car, and even the electric car. We have Toyota's Mirai here, would you believe? This is powered by hydrogen. It's a hydrogen fuel cell <laughs> vehicle, this. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to showing you all around this hydrogen powered Toyota Mirai. So there's not many of these in Ireland. This is probably the only one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's not many hydrogen stations around Ireland as well. In fact, is there even? No, there's zero. <laughs> there is zero. But yeah, I'm just going to, go to walk around. We'll have a look at the outside and then I'll show you inside and then we'll go for a drive. As we take a look around the outside of the car, so how does the hydrogen system work? Well, oxygen from the air enters the Mirai's air vents and feeds into the fuel cell stack. The Mirai is fueled by hydrogen stored in high pressure tanks and is delivered to the fuel cell stack. Uh, the oxygen and hydrogen chemically react within the fuel cell stack to generate power in the front in the form of electricity. So that is your hydrogen fuel cell <laughs> Toyota Mirai. And then the motor is activated from the power generated in the fuel cell stack and then moves the vehicle. The battery stores energy from the deceleration and assist, uh, assist the fuel cell stack output during acceleration. So uh, that is how it works. It's a very... Uh, very sophisticated piece of design there from Toyota, the Mirai. And all that comes out of the exhaust is water, would you believe? Just water is all that is emitted from the Toyota Mirai, the hydrogen fuel cell. So quite a distinctive design there. You can see the tail lamps all triangular shaped. And if you look underneath here, this is where the water comes out. So it's just a little bit of a drop every now and again comes out from underneath the Mirai. But it's very flat underneath as well. Everything all covered in. And these hydrogen fuel tanks are made out of carbon fiber, extremely strong um, to store the hydrogen. So when you do fill up the two hydrogen tanks, it's the equivalent of five kilos in weight. So not much weight at all from the hydrogen to fill up this hydrogen Toyota Mirai. Okay, Andy is going to open up the fuel tank there so you can see where you fill up your hydrogen. So it's all sealed up and as you're filling up your hydrogen, there is a infrared sensor that can sense if there's a leak and it will shut down the filling process. That is your hydrogen fill up there. And Andy is just going to show us the boot. See how practical the Toyota Mirai is. It is a big car. It's about a foot longer than a Toyota Prius. And very spacious in the rear as well. But we'll just get the boot open. And just show you the boot size. Okay, it's not huge. <laughs> but it's sizable enough for what it is. Remember, we have those fuel tanks that take up a lot of space as well. And you just have your uh, puncture repair kit there and jacking uh, device for your wheel. But 17 inch wheels, not very big, but that is what's on this. They are 215 55 profile tires. Uh, but you just look at the finish on this Toyota Mirai. It's like a very high standard finish. Everything feels very high quality. and. Even the wood finish there, that piano black on the door, really do like it. And you even have memory settings for your seats. Hop inside the back. Um, that is behind my driving position I sat in earlier. And it's not too bad in the rear. <laughs> uh, we have a very big divider here. So you can uh, store all your different items there in the back. Uh, but very nice finish there. 
in the Marae. Um, the headspace isn't too bad. I sat in earlier on. There is uh, nearly an inch over my head. Uh, but yeah, it's just the finish is very, very nice on this seat. And they do hold you in very well as well. Uh, the Toyota Marae seats. So let's just hop inside and give it a quick start over here. <laughs> just press our power button and we have, yeah, it's just, you can see the design of the dashboard sweeps the whole way across. Um, it's all, almost like a Prius with all the, all the display here higher up to the base of the windscreen but very nice display here and also down here as well you have your touch points there for your temperature control you can see it there it's all just touch it's all flat here all these buttons are all flat um, to match in with the finish yeah it's very nice in here really really is your cup holders and all your different controls here for heating heated steering wheel heated seats all your aircon functions and your gear selector there almost like a Prius so just hold it over for neutral and your drive and you have your B function there for getting more regeneration in your brakes and your reverse and your parking brake so we have our reversing camera there as well but it's all very nice in here I re <laughs> it kind of looks futuristic and we have a glove box here as well and it's not too bad the steering wheel here good grip off it nice full leather steering wheel all our controls here for your phones uh, different modes and over here as well going down through all the different menus on the dashboard and our cruise control down here yeah that is your Toyota Mirai so we're going to start it up Everything is electric, so the steering wheel comes out to me, the seat is adjusted, and we'll turn on the start button and get started. System check showing up here, and all systems are go, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> so we'll just turn the air conditioning off, so it's practically just like a Toyota Prius to drive, but we're on hydrogen. Hydrogen powered. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, so weird to think, but my first time ever driving a hydrogen powered car. And uh, <laughs> it's almost like an electric car to drive. Just driving away here now. Of course, you can get the plug in hybrid system with the Prius. But this is a very expensive, 61,000 pounds for the, uh, <laughs> for this Toyota Mirai. So it is very, very expensive, 61 and a half thousand pounds. So you could almost say twice the price of a Toyota Prius. But it's just amazing the technology to think that you fill it up with hydrogen, I think, the equivalent brake horsepower figure is about 155 brake horsepower. So of course it's not going to be earth shattering in its performance delivery, but it's not meant to be. It's meant to be a fuel efficient, environmentally friendly car. Um, it'll take a long, long time before these cars actually really catch on because there are no hydrogen fuel stations in Ireland, as far as I know. There's zero and this is the only Toyota Mirai in Ireland So I'm going to be very careful on this drive uh, But uh, a huge thanks to the owner for letting me drive it today it really is <laughs> something else but I, I Just have a listen to it <laughs> There's a kind of a strange whine off it there Almost, uh, of course, it is the electric motor, but to think that the oxygen comes in from the front of the car, is stored in the fuel cell, and then the hydrogen comes into the fuel cell, and then that chemical reaction, or the, uh, yeah, the chemical reaction from the two substances 
produces electricity. It's just so weird to think that it's happening and all that comes out of this exhaust pipe, as I said earlier, is water. Yeah, it's just incredible, incredible. And no plugging it in, you know, you could actually have this car power your house if you wanted to, uh, in very small amounts of course, but in theory, you could <laughs> power your house with this car. But uh, let's just press it on here a bit. Yeah, of course it's not very fast, but uh, you just don't expect it to be. But the, uh, of course it is capturing energy as well when you leave off the accelerator. It's capturing that energy and using it to charge the battery. You can see on the illustration on the dashboard, um, it's capturing as much energy as it can on deceleration. But yeah, very, and it is a, quite a big car. A lot bigger than a Toyota Prius. But uh, I shouldn't really compare it to a Prius because it's in a category way above it in terms of price and styling and the size of the car, as I said. But uh, very nice to drive it here today, you know. <laughs> yeah, to think that they are so rare on the market at the moment. But of course, California has loads of petrol stations that are providing hydrogen to fill up these cars. And it only takes about three minutes to fill up um, with your hydrogen and you get about 300 miles range in your tanks. So as I said earlier, you've got two fuel tanks, two hydrogen fuel tanks, and only about five kilos in weight when your two tanks are full. So it's a completely different way of thinking to a petrol, diesel, or even uh, compressed natural gas just hydrogen gas and in theory you could actually drink the water coming out of the back of this <laughs> although you would have to treat it but you could in theory <laughs> but uh, yeah just so weird driving it to think that it's just operating by hydrogen <laughs> and it is comfortable as well nice comfortable and you can definitely feel as well that the sound insulation is far more impressive than the Toyota Prius, which I did own. I owned a Toyota Prius for three years, so I kind of know how they operate. But uh, this, this is just technology going way, by, way beyond. But I'm sure it'll be many, many years before um, these cars start going into serious production and a lot more people start buying them as as all this technology will obviously come down in price but toyota obviously spending an absolute fortune on developing this car i think it was six years in development so an awful lot of work carried out but toyota have the hybrid system down to a fine art at the moment and of course they are assisting bmw with supplying them with hybrid systems for their cars yeah so i think it's time to turn around now and head away back to base <laughs> I'm just leaving a petrol station there at the moment of course I won't be getting any fuel or hydrogen from there <laughs> but uh, in California you have the likes of companies like uh, air products who hire out just different spaces in petrol stations just like that one for instance and uh, they put in a pump and people can fill with hydrogen but it'll be a bit of a long time before it starts coming to Ireland uh, in the UK, I think they have a few stations at the moment supplying hydrogen, but these cars are so rare, even on UK roads at the moment. The Toyota Mirai is in short supply. I think Toyota were uh, in production for 2017. They were to build 3,000 Toyota Mirais for 2017. And I think the UK got four Toyota Mirais this year. 2017 but this one is the only one in Ireland so an absolute privilege to drive it here today and uh, 
a very comfortable car too very comfortable but just pressing it on here uh, I'll just get it down I'm just going to get it down to maybe about 50 kilometers there's nobody behind me here and uh, we'll just power on and just see how it performs so we're just near 60 kilometers here and just press it on <laughs> well in fairness now it's not very responsive <laughs> that is not very responsive uh, but I suppose it's all about keeping it economical and getting the most out of your your hydrogen but still you have to appreciate the engineering and the thinking behind this hydrogen car because there are so few of them out there of course you have Hyundai and various other car manufacturers manufacturing hybrids or uh, <laughs> hydrogen systems I should say but yeah great to drive this <laughs> so we have made it back to base time to park up the Toyota Mirai and sum up <laughs> today's drive which I have absolutely loved yeah oh yeah <laughs> bring on hydrogen power guys <laughs> So we've just made it back to base now and just one quick look at the interior again and that beautiful finish here on the center console and all these simple to touch buttons there and your air conditioning and the gear selector as I showed you earlier and the parking brake button and this lovely display at the end of the windscreen there as well. All very nice indeed. And this all soft touch buttons here all flush with the screen <laughs> so I've just been informed that I actually drove the car in comfort mode guys so I didn't even have it in power mode I should have pressed this button here for power mode and uh, yeah I would have had more acceleration it would have been more responsive but uh, yeah we've got eco mode power mode and uh, yes I should have pressed that button <laughs> There you go. It does. It is actually more powerful. <laughs> and that is it. The drive in the Toyota Mirai. Wow. <laughs> what a car. Really has impressed me this. Just to think hydrogen powered by hydrogen. And all that's coming out of it is water. Yeah, I'm, this has to be the future, hasn't it? It just has to be. But yeah, a huge thanks to Hone Revolutionary Energy, where, which we, you will be hearing a lot of in the future. Uh, yeah, they have a string of BMW i3s here, all fully electric cars. And they're just here at the moment, <laughs> just parked up. But yeah, this Toyota Mirai, very good. <laughs> and we have the BMW M760 Li there beside it. Yeah. That's it guys, the Toyota Mirai. <laughs> yeah, thank you all very much for watching guys and I'll talk to you all again in the next video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>